Alright guys, Garage Highway's back with you for another episode with the Turbo Miata build. And as you saw in the previous episode, I got it running, but I didn't want to try to tune it or do anything because I didn't have my wideband. So we got that in the mail yesterday, and we're going to be installing that today. So uh, first thing we're going to want to do is get it out of the box and see what we got. Alright, so we got some directions and stuff. I don't need that right now. We got the wire that runs from the gauge to the um, O2 sensor. You got the tuning cable. You got your O2 sensor, or your wide band itself. Sorry, not O2 sensor. Your wide band itself. Put that over there. A bung, which I shouldn't need. Mine should work fine. You got your gauge in here. And then, of course, don't forget the sweet sticker that I'm going to put on right now. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Yep, she gonna go right there. All right, so let's get some of this stuff unboxed and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so the first step in this process, I was thinking, should probably be where you're gonna run your cable, like through the firewall. And I don't really wanna drill any more holes in my firewall. And since the O2 sensor's already so far on the downpipe, what I'm actually gonna do, excuse me, guys, I'm gonna run the uh, wire Underneath the car up well not even underneath the car up on top of the bell housing of the trans up top on the trans and then Through the uh, shifter boot hole wherever and I'll turn this camera around and show you where I'm gonna route it Start over here at the bottom of the downpipe. It'll be underneath Okay, you know, on top of the transmission So it's gonna come up through here Where it's got plenty of room and then we'll run it somehow into here And then we'll figure out how to get it up to here for the gauge just like I did the boost gauge and it's simple as that, so let's get started on this. All right, guys, so I got the car up in the air, and the first thing you should always do is what? Disconnect the negative battery terminal because you don't want to hurt the car or hurt yourself, more importantly. But, um, so I got the car up in the air. It's up on jack stands. I think I jacked it up a little higher on the right side, but it doesn't really matter. It's only going to be up for a second. So we're going to be running our cable. So let me find it real quick. I don't know what I did with it, and I'll get it ran, and I'll show you what I did. So as you can see... I ran mine all the way through here and then back there so it's nowhere near the exhaust whatsoever it's coming up from the back corner and I did that because I want the plug to be out here to plug into the O2 sensor so because every couple months you're going to want to recalibrate it with a turbo car and you have to unplug it to recalibrate it which I'll show you later so basically the O2 sensor portion which is right here you can just go ahead and screw it in down there, which I'll do from over here. It's easier to get to it. And then it'll be screwed in. This plug will be up here. And you calibrate it, and I'll show you all that in a second. All right, guys, so I'm getting ready to mount up Innovative and get some wires ready. I got my thing taken apart because she's going to be mounted like the boost cage in there. So I got a lot more wires. I mean, for the boost cage, it's one vacuum line. For the innovative air to fuel ratio there's a lot of wires so i'm literally just going to try to take like a huge chunk of this out and how i'll do that is either drill it or cut it probably going to try to cut it first and if that doesn't work we'll just go to drilling doesn't really matter either way if i have to run it through here i might do that too that it's really not a bad idea maybe just cut a little chunk right out of here and then run the wires down through i don't know yet that actually seems like a good idea we'll give it a shot and i'll be right back all right guys so i got the gauge mounted up in there and what I did to make it easier to tuck it through was I just taped all the wires together. Oops, sorry. Taped them all together. So you got all your individual wires in there. And that way you can tuck it through a really small place. And it'll be no problem at all. So let's get this mounted up and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got everything mounted up nice and good. It looks great. Yeah, so now you're left with this, which is simple. That plugs in here, but don't plug it in yet. So first, all right, so we got, a, obviously we got a red and black, positive and negative, okay? And then white is gonna be a dimmer, which you would hook up to your headlights if for nighttime driving to dim the gauge, which I'm gonna ignore, so you just ground it out. So now you're left with a brown and yellow. Now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna read 
one more time this article that I have screenshotted. But brown would go to your stock O2 sensor if you had a stock O2 sensor. But since you have a wide band, you hook this up to your stock O2 sensor wire. And I'll show you which one in a second. So let's get the wiring up. Well, let's run our ground and we'll wire up our positive and then we'll go and we'll also ground out the white and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so it's later in the day and I got the uh, wide band all wired up and now I'm gonna show you how to calibrate it. So first you wanna turn your ignition on, which would usually turn your wide band on, but mine's on a switch. So let me show you what happens when you turn it on. Mine's a switch, so turn it on. And let that should say E2. And then you wanna let that sit for about 30 seconds, okay? Some people don't do that, but it's what I read, so I'm gonna let it do it. So it'll be back in 30 seconds and I'll tell you what to do from there. All right, so after 30 seconds, go ahead and turn it off. Then you wanna come out here. Come over to here. You don't want the O2 in yet. Don't screw it in yet. So you wanna plug it up, which my plug is right here. So let me put the camera down real quick. So you wanna plug it up nice and tight till you hear a good click, make sure it's firm. Make sure this is not screwed in. You don't want your wide band screwed in because it needs to know what it's like to be in fresh air. So now we're gonna come back in here, turn your ignition back on or switch, whatever, however you have it hooked up. And it's gonna say heater, HTR, I'm pretty sure if it works right, all right. And then after that it should say CAL, CAL, for calibrating. And then it should go to, I think it's like 22 point something. So let's give it a second. This, this is really my first time doing this, I've never done this. Should be heating the sensor. Now here's calibrating. 22.4, there it is. And you can go ahead and turn it off. All right, guys, I did it. That was really my first time. I'm actually proud of myself right now. I've been really proud of myself lately because everything's been going so well with hooking up the Mega Squirt all by myself and just. It's been going well. I had help from Christian, but we couldn't get it running that day, sadly, but I got it in, and now I just did this, and this was really like one of the final steps, guys. The Miata run, the Miata's gonna be running boost maybe tonight. Just a little bit, though. We're gonna ease into it, because my oil catch can just came in. I'll do an install video on this. If you wanna know where I got that, just leave me a comment. But, um, so I'm gonna screw the O2 sensor in, and I'm gonna give it a start and see if this thing works. It sh obviously should. I'm gonna go grab my laptop so I can hook up Tuner Studio also. So let me get it screwed in and I'll be right back. Guys, so the Miata wasn't running till Thomas came over and fixed my problems. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I'm not touching it yet. So um, that's probably gonna end this video and I'm gonna get it posted out tonight for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, thanks.